9.30 this morning, we've already gymmed. I was going to say, don't judge what we look like. I know, yeah. <laughs> we've gymmed, now we're going to go do some work in a little French cute cafe. Um, but we are going to get glammed up tonight and go out, so we'll take you along with us tonight. This is our little cute situation. This is where I call it laptop club. Really cute little place. But yeah, we're going to do some work. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Paris. So we have got the glam on, looking a bit different from before. I've just got a makeshift outfit on out of Georgia's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? We're going as naughty and nice. Georgia's in full on red. Uh -huh. I'm in, in white, but we'll show you the outfits in a minute. Um, where's your outfit from? Hyphen. Hyphen? I've never heard of that. It's my friend Emily's brand. It's new. Go um, check it out. Go check it out. We heard it here. This little top's from Revolve, but kind of loving it. I need more little tops like this. And then this is a pretty little thing skirt, but I will, um... On the makeup, we've just got Pixie Lips, my fave, always. Got a bit of Dior eyeshadow. Um, foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. My Dior highlight, as always. YSL blush, you know the drill. Let's go have a glass of vino. Yes, please. Welcome to Paris. This is George's bed. We've just made it up. <laughs> so we just come to a place called Brass. We just had cheesy pizza. It's very good. But welcome to Paris. This is like a hotel, just um, not that far away from where I'm staying. But it's kind of cute. We're just at the bar. On the road there. Georgia with a camera. <laughs> to show you guys the outfit a little bit better this is george's little top I really love it i've just tucked it under but it's from revolve this is like a really leggy skirt got the ysl we're chalk and cheese george's full on red red and black and you're all white i'm white just given an 18, just given an 18 year old my number because georgia told told me i to. was a good wing woman right <laughs> yeah but there's got to be an age limit here uh, let, let me not uh give your Secrets away, Lord. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, but we got to go for thirty plus these days. Has to be. I don't think he was. He definitely wasn't eighteen. No, he's like twenty-two. I reckon. I reckon at least twenty. I'm not ready to be a cougar just yet. Give me a few. Wait, I'll, I'll be a cougar when I'm thirty-five. I reckon twenty. Got, got one more year. <laughs> oh, because he was hinting for it. That's what. Oh, I'm not giving him mine on that. Exactly. Laura, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so just say okay, Laura. Can, can, pop, pop your number in Laura's phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, we did have to call him. You can, I'm calling you. Can I show? First of all, my outfit. Hello, but Georgia, can I show you um, my skills? I could hear you. You ready? Very, it was very nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> to share with you a brand called J.ing or Jing. I'll leave it here in case I have pronounced it wrong. Um, it has some gorgeous little pieces on there and there's some pieces that you would have seen in my videos already and you guys have been asking about them. So um, I'll start off with the one that I've literally worn to death. <laughs> like I've worn it so much. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is one that I've worn a lot. <laughs> I, it's literally my go-to jumper at the moment. You will have seen it on my Insta stories and on my vlogs and stuff. Um, I have lived in this. This is just a cute pink jumper. Um, it's got these cute cup sleeves. Definitely needs to go in the wash because I've worn it that much. <laughs> but I just feel like for a casual outfit with a pair of jeans, this colour, I feel like it's got grass all in it. I've literally been rolling around on the floor with my nephew. Um, but it's just been my go-to jumper that I've been going to. I feel like pink is a really flattering colour. Uh, there's a bit of grass on it. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot tell you how much I've worn this jumper. Um, so yeah, this is the first one. Thought it was a cute everyday little jumper. Okay, next is this midi skirt. It's like got a diagonal 
wrap around effect to it with this slit here which I love I feel like that I love midi skirts that are still still have like a touch of sexiness to them because you're covered up and it's like oh little leg poking out I feel like they've sent me this in the wrong size it looks a little bit big for me but um I'll see if I can try it on if it if it's not too big it just looks a bit wide small um but yeah this is gorgeous I thought for spring with like a pair of wedges and a cute little top talking about cute little tops wait till you see this blouse how beautiful is this look at the button detailing on that i just thought this would look lovely with jeans or a little pair of shorts i'm really really going for the girliness at the moment on it <laughs> really going for it okay there's no mistaking that i love a bardo dress top vibe i've got one on right now this is also a top from J ing and i, I love the color pink <laughs> <laughs> really embracing it and um, this is so gorgeous it's a cute little day dress I love how it like like it ties in a little bit at the waist it's got this gorgeous like puffy sleeves really cute but also I have this black one as well Um, this one's a little longer it's midi so even with a waist belt around the middle this would look gorgeous I've been really enjoying at the moment wearing shorts but in a very smart way you may have noticed <laughs> with like blazers or shirts so I love shorts that like come out a little bit like are not just straight um i think they have a nicer fit this actually looks a little bit like a mini skirt so if you wanted like it's got like pleats and stuff kind of cute but i got it to go with this beautiful shirt like look how cool that that is this they had white shorts and a white shirt as well so you can if you wanted like a lighter version but i just love that pattern with the shorts beautiful i hope you like the pieces i picked out from j ing um i have a discount code i will leave it here for you for you to shop if you want to um i'll leave all the sizes and everything that i've worn in the description box for you to shop and yeah let's get on with the rest of the video good morning gang we are up we have gymmed and we are off out shopping um did we have a good night last night? Yeah. Yeah, it was cute. We seen as Paris. I think it, it might have been in the gay district. So me and Georgia, single on the pole. Probably weren't in the best place. <laughs> but it was fun on the same. Woke up with the worst sore throat. Because I don't know if you saw it was so foggy in there. Um, but I wanted to show you the outfit today. I've just got on an asymmetric blouse. Do your handbag. I'm going to a belt. These are the in the style shorts I always wear from Lorna Lux's range of them. Um, some Prada shoes, Versace sunglasses. What have you got on my love? Really love this blazer that George is wearing. Got this like reworked Prada blazer. This is from, this is from Pretty Lavish. Really love the skirt as well with the little Rebel, sexy slit. Valentino belt, and then Louis Vuitton sandals. So we're gonna go shop. We're gonna find the good shopping places in Paris. So we're just in a department store called Samaritime. Look at this. Like, look how cool it is. Paris really know how to do a department store, don't they? Yeah. It is so cool. We're just getting some major inspo to up our fashion game, aren't we? I like a bit of Yeah, you are very bomber. I am very bomber. This is outfit details of the day. Got a bit of beef cellar on. My fave. So I don't know if you can hear us, but we are just at Lavenue, which is a very famous restaurant, which is opposite the famous Dior with Carrie Sam. <laughs> oh, is that where she fell? Yeah, she fell in Dior. The food here looks so good. We've got green juice, some pasta. The chips are apparently meant to be amazing, right? Yeah. Meant to be. Meant to be. We will soon. <laughs> so, very good lunch. Good evening, guys. We are off out. We have had the most incredible nap. <laughs> so beautiful. Honestly, we got in today. We were so tired. I don't know what it was. We were wiped, weren't we? Oh. It was after the most incredible pasta ever, La Avenue. I still can't get over it. I mean, it was nice. Weren't that bloody nice? I, I thought it was amazing. It was just tomato pasta. <laughs> I, re I really love tomato pasta. But this is we're just we got we're going for a chill option tonight. We we're gonna go raving, but we were like, no, <laughs> I'm too old to, to to cope with this. So we're gonna go find a nice outdoor pizza somewhere. <laughs> So we just walk it. I have to tell you this story. <laughs> Daddy. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it's my favourite. <laughs> I will laugh. Right so now. when we were in the bar last night at Brack, um, 
we got talking to this waiter and he was giving us really good tips. He's, he was a lovely guy, he was from like Texas, so he spoke really good English. And um, he was like, can I give you girls my number? And Georgia really quickly was like, Laura, yeah, put it in your phone. So I was like, okay. He texted me today saying, can I have your, take your friend um, Georgia out for dinner or something? And I was like, just to clarify, we need an age? Like, what's the age? Yeah. We need identity proof. Um, and he texted back saying, what did he say? O old enough so she can call me daddy. <laughs> So from now on we refer to him as daddy. So Laura earlier said, have you heard from daddy? I was like, what? And I was like, oh, okay. So funny. <laughs> My new year's resolution, number 100, is to date older men. Don't go younger. Don't go younger. Always go for the younger men, it's not good. I'm a cougar. <laughs> Daddy. The pizza situation. I feel like George has got a big pizza for me. <laughs> At least someone loves me. <laughs> so we have had a day of shooting. We finally got some sort of mojo, haven't we? Yeah. It took a while. It took a while, but we are off. It is 29 degrees in Paris today, and we are about to head out for some food and some wine. Some red bull would be nice. Maybe some red bull. Um, outfits it is boiling so I literally chose the smallest outfit in my wardrobe because I can't hack the heat we were literally dying today weren't we yeah. <laughs> every part of my body was sweating to spot the brit because as soon as it get, uh, gets over 24 degrees George is off to see daddy tonight <laughs> not looking like this <laughs> daddy I've just brought Georgia to the most epic view look at this I'm gonna do some justice. Hang on. How cool is that? It's not my I pulled out. <laughs> so it literally rained for like two seconds, and in the nick of time, we've come to the cutest little cafe. We've got wine, it's torrentially thunderstorming and the Eiffel Tower is just there, it's a very good situation. Look how cute this place is called Amoret. And you just sort of did Amoretta Sour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just up from the Eiffel Tower but it's really super cute. Right? <laughs> Go on. You're <laughs> <laughs> Oh, am I the man? Okay, pretend I'm the man. We'll explain what we're doing in a minute. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh! Here's my number. <laughs> so funny. Do you mind? <laughs> You me now. <laughs> so me and Georgia have this theory. Well, we're really bad at like letting men know that we're interested. Like half the time we're not interested. Yeah, half the time. We're interested. But like, I never approach anyone. I like so many of my guy friends have been like, I would not approach you. You're just so cut off. Like you just like so inappropriate. So I was like, I have to learn how to like make a make man know aware. that I'm interested. So I was like, we have to give them the eye. Uh, <laughs> so that was our test. Would you uh, date us? <laughs> yeah, I'm that? so rubbish. Like I would never, in a, in, a, in a situation like this, I would just like never ever like give a guy, let a guy know that I'm interested. I just have a fear of rejection. So there was a cute guy in Lavender yesterday and we wanted to like leave the number on the table. We didn't. <laughs> We were like, we should, have, we should do something. When we see a hot man, we need to do something. So that was like, that was the attempt. Not good. I need lessons. I need very good lessons. Okay. Current situation. Trying to cover from the rain. Um, that was the nicest dinner. How nice was that? No, no, lavender was better. Lavender pasta That was just was a plain pasta though. But the wine there. Very good. Laura got, I didn't get wine, I went in the mood for wine. But Laura got eight euro wine and apparently it's the best wine she's ever had. the best wine I've ever had. It was like clear. Yeah. It's nice. Eight euros, it was called Perinade, I want to say. This napkin ain't really working for me. <laughs> you're auditioning for Mary Jesus and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the shepherds. The shepherds, I'll be a shepherd. 
Um, we were just chatting. Can I be the baby? <laughs> we were just chatting. The baby. Um, oh, hold on, let me grab her. How can I hold this? Oh, there we go. Sandra, that's that shot we had. We were just chatting because basically Laura fancied a way to there. And we were yeah. just talking like, how do you approach him when you fancy? He was very, I like, I like a man with a very good tan, like the Italian kind of vibe. Um, yeah. You know the one that would be an adult who's a banner advert in a, in a top, like a car with a top down. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of vibe. Yeah. So uh, we were practicing our eye, like if we were to see a guy we fancy and we it's have to give him the eye. I have rest no. in No. I just think I look uninterested all the time. Me too. In fact, I've been told this so many times. But like, I would never chat a guy up purely because I've got a fear of rejection. Like, and what would you say? Imagine if they laugh in your face. <laughs> like, that wouldn't be fun. But I don't even think you need to chat them up. You just need to make them know you're interested, but I just never do that. Yeah. I'm too busy, like, I'm too, I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm not busy at all. <laughs> like, but like, I mean, I'm I always... I trying to give the man the eye, the waiter. Show them, show them what you were doing. <laughs> but he just kept on coming over and asking what I fucking wanted. <laughs> the bill? Dessert? Yeah. So, she, she, <laughs> she gave him the eye to be as in like, I'm interested, like, hi. And he went, do you want dessert? <laughs> So, I think we need to work. It's so fucking tragic. <laughs> oh. So, I feel like you need to work on your eyes. The fact that you thought you were hungry. <laughs> maybe, maybe just not go for a wig. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, we have a new tactic. Oh, <laughs> hold on. The new tactic. Is George is going to. George will love stationery. I love stationery. It's good juice. She's going to bring a pen out. If you see a nice looking French man, I'm going to write a number. And what we do, we drop it. In, be like, oh, sorry, you dropped. So I said, write your number on a piece of paper or a napkin. I've got a napkin here. Um, I'll come prepared with a pen, and then just like as you walk past, like, oh, sorry, I think you dropped this. And then your number on. Your should number. We try, should we actually try this out? Right. So we'll I get back to you on whether it'll Yeah, work. I can't leave Paris without one of us doing that. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll report back. <laughs> you know, the next clip will be like, oh my god. What's <laughs> <laughs> be like, should we go? Or we are crying. <laughs> or we are crying into our ice cream because we've just been rejected. Oh my God. <laughs>